What's up, block lovers? So today's video is just gonna show you all how I achieve this nice, fresh, clean scalp with my regular wash day routine. Um, I'm also gonna show you all how I typically like moisturize my hair as well at the end of washing it. I had washed my hair probably like a week and a half prior to this, so my hair wasn't really dirty, but I love my scalp feeling nice and clean and I love my hair to smell good. So yeah, let's just get into it. These are the products I'm gonna be using to wash and then moisturize my hair. I'm gonna be using the Tahila Wajid Black Earth Stimulating Herbal Cleanser. I'm going to use Ozzy Miracle Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this conditioner and shampoo. It smells so good, it's very moisturizing. And then after my wash, I'm gonna follow up with my um, Ozzy Leave-In Spray Conditioner, some rose water, and then this Tahila Wajid Mist Botifier, which is also like another little moisturizing product. So the first thing that I do every time I wash my hair in general is drench my hair in water first, only just so I know like whenever I put the product in my hair, it has good slippage and you know, I'm not putting it on just dry hair. So yeah, I just drench it and get it like soaked with water first to start. So the first product that I'm using is the Stimulating Herbal Cleanser by Tahila Wajid. And this is a clarifying pre-shampoo. So I just use this to like cleanse my hair and scalp and remove any buildup um, before I even wash my hair. And this product does like feel stimulating because it does have eucalyptus and mint inside of it. So it has a little nice little tingling feeling and it just makes you feel like, you know, your hair is getting cleansed. So as y'all can see, I'm using way more than the dime size amount because the dime size thing never works for me. But I'm also focusing more so on the roots of my hair versus my actual locks because I don't want to strip my locks with too much moisture. And this is what I typically do every time I wash my hair with the um, pre-shampoo and the shampoo as well. So now as you all can see, I'm about to start shampooing my hair and I focus more so on my roots, just like I did with the pre-shampoo before going to my locks. But I do have this rinse in my hair that I've been trying to wash out as well. So you will see me like trying to like scrub my locks a little bit to try to get some of the color out. And I forgot to mention earlier that this video is sped up twice. I didn't want this to be like a super long video of you all just watching me wash my hair. So I did speed it up. So it might seem like I'm moving super, super fast, but I'm really not. And here I'm just getting some more shampoo and putting it on the back half of my hair to make sure those locks and roots don't get missed as well and they get a nice little lather. And y'all, I'm not gonna cap. With these little wash videos, I swear I'd be drowning like I promise I could not breathe. I was over here trying to hold my breath. Like, that's why I had to take a step back because mm -mm, that water be a lot, but yeah. Now I'm just rinsing all of the shampoo out of my hair and I'm also just like going through my scalp to just make sure I got all the buildup that may have been there, any type of flakes or anything like that. Now, as you can see, I'm just conditioning my hair. I'm just getting a generous amount of conditioner and I'm putting it all over my locks just so I can have my hair like penetrated with some moisture. So 
So as y'all can see, I'm just massaging that conditioner into my scalp as well as on my locks. Just making sure that I have my locks kind of saturated with the conditioner because I want to make sure that I am getting my hair moisturized as well after I just stripped it of the moisture from shampooing it with the clarifying shampoo and the shampoo as well. After massaging this conditioner into my hair, I did let it sit for a couple minutes before washing it out. After letting the conditioner sit in my hair for a few minutes, I do make sure I rinse it out thoroughly just so no leftover product is left inside of my actual locks so no buildup occurs. I really love using the Ozzy Miracle Moist conditioner on my wash days because it has avocado as well as jojoba oil in it and it does leave your hair feeling very moisturized after you rinse out all the conditioner. And as you can see, I'm just squeezing my locks to make sure I don't have any leftover product in it. Now that I'm done washing, you'll just see me squeezing out the excess water that's left inside of my locks after washing it. And after this, I will be blotting my hair with a cotton t-shirt to dry it. I don't really like using towels because towels, you know, like they can leave like lint inside of your hair. And just using a 100% cotton t-shirt, you know, it's just gentler on the hair than using a towel. And after I blot my hair with this t-shirt, I just let my hair air dry the rest of the way. And it dries pretty quickly, like within two hours for sure, my hair is usually dry, but it just depends on like, you know, the humidity and like the temperature outside, of course. So this is what my scalp is looking like post wash. It feels very, very clean and it looks really clean. I do have a couple of tiny pieces of lint in my hair that I had to get out. Um, but aside from that, yeah, this wash day was pretty successful. Now I am finna get into my moisture routine about how I actually like seal in the rest of my moisture after I finish washing my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna first do my spray on leave-in conditioner. because I tried to squeeze all the regular conditioner out. I still want my locks to be conditioned at the same time, you know? All right, I'm just gonna work it in with my hands a little bit, just making sure that it's kind of penetrating into the locks.
rice. I'm about to put the tequila like that. I'm just spraying it in my hand first so I can get on my hand so I can rub it in to saturate my hair. And then I'm gonna end up spraying it on there as well. I wanna rub it in so my locks can feel good and moisturized. Definitely feeling moisturized. Like after this, I'm probably gonna oil my scalp and put a little bit of lightweight oil on my hair too. Now I'm just gonna put like a tiny amount, like a very tiny, like dime size amount of this Moroccan argan oil, just so y'all can see. Very small amount in my hands. I'm just gonna rub it on my hair. I don't like putting like oils and stuff on my actual hair like that, but I just put like a little dime size amount on my entire head, just to, you know, put a little bit of moisture in there as well. Very small amount. And I'm also gonna put like a little drop of jojoba oil as well. Just some lightweight oils. Cause I really only put oil on my scalp. Cause I don't want any type of buildups for real inside of my locks. But every now and then I will put just a little bit of oil. Tight like you saw drop sizes. Just to help seal in a little bit more of this moisture. Yes, I don't know if y'all can see, but my hair looks super clean. You see my little curls, like that moisture is definitely getting up in there. For sure. So I look at this leave-in conditioner, a couple more little sprays. Dot of a rose water, and yeah, that is it for this video, y'all. So, this is how my hair looks when it is completely dry, it feels extremely lightweight and it feels very, very clean. And y'all, I know I need a retwist, but I'm gonna thug it out for a little bit. Thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have not voted already with early voting, make sure you get out there on election day and vote y'all. Like, it's pertinent. It's very, very important that y'all do that. So yes, go vote and thanks for watching.